Mom, what are these choices above my head? You have to choose between eating a shrimp and taking out your ponytails. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I'll choose to let go of my ponytails. You can't, honey. They're magic ponytails from our ancestors. If you let go, bad things will happen, so just eat the shrimp. Okay, Mom. Oh, look, it's the blind girl with the ponytails. I know, right? She never does any other Are you not tired of talking about me all the time? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition next week. Can I join, sir? How are you going to join? You're blind. You can't read. I can memorize it. I'm sorry, Amara, but you can't take part in this competition. But, sir! It's a shame. You're not used to this school. Why am I blind? Why can't I just be like the other kids at school? Hello, excuse me, I'm new. Do you know where the library is? Uh, it's in... I'm sorry, I didn't know you were blind. That's okay. I'm Chris, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, it's the blind girl. Let's have some fun. Hey, pony, Give hey. it back! It's right here, take it. <laughs> She's so stupid. Hey, stop, you guys are really mean. Who the hell are you? You don't need to get involved. He's kind of handsome, you know. Do you want to be friends? I don't want to be friends with evil people like you. Ugh, he's so arrogant. Amara, let's go. Thanks, Chris, for helping me. That's okay. I'm your new friend, after all. Wow, I have a friend. You really don't have any other friends? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm blind. They call me Blind Pony. Calm down. From now on, I'll always be on your side. My throat feels weird. What's wrong? Because my mom made me eat shrimps and I'm allergic to it. It was either that or I had to let go of my ponytails. Why don't you let it loose? She says something bad will happen if I do. I'm curious, why don't we try to remove the ponytails? No, we can't do that, that's risky. What if you're blind because of the ponytails? What? No, that's crazy. I've been blind ever since I was a child, Chris. But you've also had those ponytails since you were oh, a child. Oh, you're right. Just take them off, Amara, I'll take care of you. I guess it's worth a try. Chris? Amara, can you see? Yes, I never thought I'd be able to see again. But it's weird. Why has my mom made me blind all this time? There must be a reason. Did your mom ever give you anything else? Mom makes me apple juice every day, but it tastes weird. Well, make sure you don't drink that apple juice anymore. We don't know what's behind all of this. Okay, Chris. Mom, I'm home. Honey, I missed you. You didn't take off your pigtails, did you? No, Mom. Good, honey. Honey, I made you apple juice. Drink it. Okay. Hurry up. It will soon be afternoon. Mom, I'm going to a friend's house, okay? Be careful. Did you drink the apple juice? Yes, Mom. Look, there's the blind girl again, but why is her hair down? Hey, guys, I can finally see you. Why aren't you blind? I'm normal now. Oh, so you've been fooling us all this time? Yeah, she only did it for the attention. You freak. Chris, where are you? Hey, Amara, sorry I'm late. Are you okay? What's that drink? This is the apple juice I've been talking about. I've been drinking it ever since I was a kid. That doesn't seem like apple juice to me. The color is off. What color is apple juice supposed to be like? Yellowish. From now on, you have to be careful with your mom. Come to my house. I want you to meet my dad. Okay. Dad, this is my friend. Do you know what that drink is? Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... This drink is prohibited. It cannot be drunk. There used to be only one person who could make this drink. People tried to get the recipe, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? May I know what your mom's name is? Grace. Grace? She was my father's assistant. She's the only one who can make that potion. The effect of that potion made people forget their memories. Then what should we do, Dad, so that her memory can come back? You have to make your mom drink this. Once she does, you'll get your memory back. Okay, I'll go give my mom the drink now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Honey, where were you? I went to a friend's house. Friend? Yes, I brought you this drink. They said it's very good for the health. Okay, I'll drink it. You really think I'm this stupid? I know what you're up to. You're trying to trick me. Mom, you should drink from that bottle now. Who gave you this? Answer me. From now on, you can't go anywhere. You know what? You're the reason I'm blind. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your daughter. You asked too many questions. Come with me. Let go of me. This is the only way I can keep you from going out ever again. I have to call Chris. Hello, Chris. My mom locked me up. 
Okay, Amara, I'm coming there right now. Okay, I'm waiting. Amara? Chris? Hey, who's this? Grace. You? What are you doing here? Put an end to what you've done and drink from the bottle I gave to your daughter before I call the police. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna drink from it now. <laughs> Amara, what's wrong with you? I remember everything. You're not my mom. Honey, congratulations on your height. Wow, I'm pretty tall. Everyone stops at 160 centimeters when they but turn why? 16. Because after that, nobody grows anymore. Whoa, you've grown so much. Yes, I'm already 130 centimeters. I'm 140. I'm sad that we're going to stop growing. I really want it to be tall. Class, time to take measurements. Amara, you go first. 150 centimeters. Congratulations. I'm 160 centimeters tall. Happy birthday, honey. You've grown so much. Thank you, mom. Your height is 160 centimeters, just like me and your dad. Are you not happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, look. What are you guys talking about? Your height. Come with me now. We have to speak with you. Is this your mom's phone number? Yeah, that's right. I came as quick as I can. What's happening? Your daughter has not stopped growing. How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of... We suspect that she is the daughter of someone very tall. What's going to happen now? We're going to have to send you to a school, especially for tall people like you. You can't study with shorter people anymore. This is Amara. She'll be studying here from now on. Whoa, she's so tall. Are they also children of someone tall like me? Don't speak about that in class, okay? Why? Hey, you're so tall. Hello. Yes, I am. Why haven't you gotten your height checked yet? They didn't call me. Look at the ceiling. It's very high, isn't it? Whoa, yes it is. We can grow up to 500 centimeters. That's why we need to take our special gummies. You wanted to see me? You're new here, right? Yes. Okay, here's your gummies. Take a gummy a day to stop your growth. Did you like the book? Yeah. All students, please come for a height check. Why do they do that? Listen, Amara, if you start to grow and get stronger, they'll put you to sleep in a freezer. So, your height is 300 centimeters. It's not too bad. If you reach 500 centimeters, we're going to have to take you away. So, please remember to take your gummies. Where are they? Looking for something? <sighs> yes, I lost my gummies. You can just take one of mine. But aren't they different? I think they're all the same. Good morning. Did everyone take the gummy? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone. We're going to play a game of hide and seek. Please hide in a good place so that no one will oh, find no. you. Oh, no. I'm growing again. What's going on? She's getting taller. I'm seven meters tall. What should I do now? You must eat one of these gummies to get shorter, okay? Um, one is enough. Whoa. It's working very well. Don't eat any more. Amara, you're too short to go to school here. If you don't return to your normal height by a week, you have to leave the school. How do I get my height back? I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Oh, look how short she is. She really thought she could rule the world, but in the end, she became a shorty. Maybe I'll get taller than you. I don't even want to be tall anymore. I doubt you'll ever be tall again. Sir, please, I don't want to leave the school. You need to be at least 200 centimeters to join the school. You're much shorter than that. You can just give me some special gummies so I can grow taller. You're crazy. You should never do that. Why not? Hey, you're the one who wants to be tall again, right? Yeah, that's true. I've been researching and I found these new gummies for Thanks. growth. I just didn't work much on the formula, so there might be side effects. Whoa, it's working. Look at her. She keeps getting shorter and shorter. Soon, she'll disappear completely. Hey, I found new growth gummies. <sighs> but I'm scared to try it. They're much more powerful than the others. I'm sure they're going to work. Okay. Please, I hope I can let my hair loose today. Huh? Ponytail? Why do I keep getting ponytail? I just want to let my hair loose for one day. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? What hairstyle did you get today? I got ponytail again. It's okay. The important thing is that you don't break the rules, okay? Okay, I have to go. I'll see you later. Oh, look. The horse tail is coming. Why do you get ponytails every day? Right? I'm bored of seeing her hair like that. I don't know, but the important thing is that I don't break the hair rules. No wonder Jack cheated on you. He cheated on me? His girl is beautiful because her hair is always untied.
Jack, why are you cheating on me? What did I do wrong? Because I'm bored of your hair. At least my new girlfriend's pretty and her hair is loose. Okay, your loss. I'm sure tomorrow I'll get loose hair. <laughs> you wish. Please let my hair be loose today. Not again. This is so embarrassing. I told my ex I'm going to have loose hair today. Now he's going to think I'm an idiot. Mom, I'm going to school. Be careful, honey. Why? I know the neighbor got pigtails, but she took them out and her consequence was... Her consequence was what? I don't want to talk about it. Hurry up and get to school. All right. Ponytail again? At this point, I'm not even surprised. I thought you'd have loose hair today. You were so sure about it yesterday when I broke up with you. First of all, you didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. And second of all, I'm not in charge of this thing. I can't break the rules. You're not as beautiful as my new girlfriend. What? You don't suspect Jack's new girlfriend. Why should I suspect her? She always has her hair untied. I only get it once a week. Looks like she's breaking the rules. Breaking the rules? Yes. Let me go through her bag since she's not here. What's this? If her hair is untied, why does she need to carry this many hair ties? She's definitely breaking the rules. Macy, I think Jack's girlfriend's breaking the rules. Why are you so sure? I just checked her bag and she has so many hair ties. If her hair is always loose, why does she need that many? If she's breaking the rules, why hasn't anything happened I to don't her? know. Please let today be the day I can let my hair loose. Two pigtails? No, I'm not doing this anymore. If my ex's new girlfriend can break the rules, so can I. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you can... Don't tell me. I'm going to school. I want to show my new hair off. Jack, look at your ex. Her hair's on time. Wow, beautiful. Did the system finally let you keep your hair loose or did you cheat? I already told you. I can also get loose hair, not just your new girlfriend. I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me or not. Did you break the rules? Yes. Amara! I told you, nothing will happen. What if, for example, I don't get caught? Everyone gets caught eventually. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Calm down. So, you opened my bag yesterday. And what if I did? Do you have anything to hide? Like maybe all those hair ties in your bag? I'm sure you broke the rules too. No, I actually didn't. We'll find out later. Please, just this once. Can I have my hair untied so I don't have to break the rules anymore? Braids? I don't even know how to braid my hair. I guess I'm going to have to break the rules again. As long as no one knows, it's okay, right? You broke the rules again? Yeah. Gosh, Amara. Why? There's a hair breaking detection system here today. They're going to be checking if anyone's Wait, breaking the rules. Wait, they're coming to this school? Yes. <sighs> hair check will start soon. Hair check will start soon? What am I going to do? Did you bring any hair ties with you? No, and also today I got braids and I don't even know how to braid my hair. I can help you. You can just use one of my hair ties. Come. No, everyone's going to think I was lying and I'm going to look bad. I don't want to. I guess I have to say goodbye to you because soon everyone's going to know the truth. You think they won't find out about you too? You also broke the rules. Don't worry, no one will find out. You'll see later. Why does Jack's new girlfriend ever get caught? She breaks the rules every single day. I don't know, maybe she knows a way around it. Amara, please come forward. There will be a hair check. I have to go. Be careful, okay? Is it true that you got your hair untied today? You didn't violate the rules, right? Yes, sir. And no, I didn't violate the rules. Let me have a look. I hope he doesn't find out. Okay, done. Wait, there's still a second check. Assistant, please bring me the comb. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. What? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. <sighs> okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hairstyles we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. 
Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is! Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh? Unlimited breaths or unlimited money? Unlimited breaths is much more important. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. What was your choices? I chose unlimited breaths because it's much more important. What? I can't believe you did this. You know we needed the money. <sighs> You're so useless. Get out of here. But mom! Looks like everyone chose unlimited money. I mean, look at all the stuff they bought. Wait, you didn't choose the money? I don't even know why they put the unlimited breaths as an option. Only idiots would choose it. I guess I'm an idiot then. You chose unlimited breaths? Sorry, but we can't be friends. Okay, class. Today we're going on a trip to an island. You'll sit next to me, right? Yeah, of course. Are you okay? You haven't joined any group yet. Yeah, I'm fine. Class, it looks like we've lost our boat and our breaths are running out. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. <sighs> I'm still alive. How is this possible? Klaus, is everyone okay? Yeah. How did we survive? We were lucky I picked unlimited breaths. That's a lie. I'm the one that has unlimited breaths and saved us all. Sir, that's not true. She's lying. <sighs> well, if that's the case, let's do a competition. I accept. Whoever wins can prove that they can breathe underwater. And you can only do that if you've picked unlimited breaths. You both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. Are you both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. See? I told you I was the one with unlimited breaths. Jessica, why would you lie about your breaths? I didn't lie. Well, you clearly did. You lost the competition. Whatever, girls, let's go. You saved our lives. How can we pay you back? No, it's fine, really. I'm glad I could help. Amara, you're the best. I'm sorry we're all mean to you. We really appreciate you helping us. As a thank you, we want you to have this. What is this? We all decided to give you some money. I hope it helps the situation at home. A million pounds? No, I can't take this. Take it. You deserve it. Mom. Hey, honey. I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. It's fine. Hey, take this. You don't have to sell the house anymore. A sugar daddy or a sugar bestie? Hmm. If I choose a sugar daddy, it might be someone weird. So, sugar bestie. Hello? Hello, I'm your sugar bestie. I'm here in front of your house. That was quick. Hold on. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, I thought it was a girl sugar bestie, not a boy. <laughs> You're very funny. What's your name? My name is Amara. What's your name? My name is J uh, Chris. Are you sure about that? Yeah, my name is Chris. Okay, come on in. There's something weird about this guy. Oh, Amara, I bought you a MacBook for fun. I hope you like it. Is this for me? Yes, useful for you, right? Yeah, very useful. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Amara, instead of playing on your cell phone, you should go shopping. But I don't have any money. Calm down, calm down. Hey. Okay, I'll go buy some stuff now. Hmm, should I buy a new Nintendo Switch or some new earphones? Her name is Amara, boss. She's very funny and talkative. No, don't come here now, boss. If you get caught, it can mess up our plans. Hmm, should I buy a new Nintendo Switch or new earphones? Her name is Amara, boss. She's very funny and talkative. No, don't come here now, boss. If you get caught, it can mess up our plans. So, did you find anything you like? I ended up buying these earphones. That's great. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna head home now. Okay, that's fine, but make sure you're ready by 7. There's somewhere I want to take you. Where do you want to take me? To meet a friend of mine. He really wants to see you. Do you know what? I can't. I'm busy. Don't be silly. I've already made plans with him. I can't cancel now. That phone call was weird. Is he working for someone? Are you ready to go? Where are we going? It's a surprise. Jump in the car. Amara, meet my boss. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. What do you want from me? Straight to the point, huh? 
Sure, I want you to work for me. Dad, can you buy me makeup to cover up my birthmark? Makeup? I don't even know about these things. And anyway, you're too young. Are you being bullied at school because of your birthmark? No. Who made fun of your birthmark? Two girls in my class. Their names are Gemma and Sarah. Is that so? They're just jealous of you, honey, because you were born different. Jealous of me? Okay, thanks, Dad. Kids, for some reason, Sarah and Gemma has been transferred to another school. But before they leave, let's all say bye to them first. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Gemma. This is all your fault, Amara. We hate you. Dad, I'm going to school alone today. Please don't follow me. I'm so proud of you, honey. You're all grown up now. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I'm going to leave now. Bye. Why are you wearing a mask, Amara? Because... Take it off. Otherwise, I'll make all the girls at school make fun of you. Anyway, we all know about your bath mark. You're so ugly. I'm going to send a picture of you to the class group chat. Did you see the picture Emma sent of Amara? Yeah, that birthmark makes her look like a clown and her parents must be so ashamed of her. Hey, you two, don't speak to her like that. Do you want what happened to Sarah and Jamma to happen to you? They only got kicked out of school because Amara told her dad and snitched on them. Who tells you she can't snitch on you too? Just be careful with how you speak to her. Hey, Amara, come here. What is it? Sorry, I was just bored and your face annoys me. Hey, what's wrong with you punching Amara's face like that? Shut up, you might be handsome, but you're really stupid to be friends with that weirdo. Well, at least being handsome is better than being ugly and crazy. I'm gonna report you Please no, just don't get involved. Amara, your eye is bruised. Why if your dad sees you and finds out you're still being bullied at school? He won't find out. Trust me, you know your dad. He's really rich and very strict. Yes, but he's only rich because he's a mafia boss. What? A mafia boss? Yes, that's why I have to hide this bruise. Because if he finds out, whoever punched me won't be alive anymore. Don't even try hiding that bruise. Tell me who punched you, now. Sweets or plain food? Wait, honey, choose the plain food. It's not good that you eat sweets all the time. But mom, I don't like eating plain food. It's for your own health. <sighs> Fine. Mom, I'm hungry. Oh, it just happens that I don't have any more plain food. <sighs> Seriously? Why didn't you stock up on plain food? You knew I'd be hungry by now. Why do you always rely on me? Go buy it yourself. It's okay. I'll just starve myself to death. Sis, if you want, you can just eat my cake. But it's sweet, isn't it? Mom told me to choose the sweet option. The food is really delicious. <sighs> Mom, this isn't fair. Why can't she eat sweet food and I can't? Stop fighting over food. Hey, I would like to buy some plain food. Sorry, but we don't have any plain food options. Everyone chose sweet food. Everyone? That cheesecake was so amazing. No, the ice cream was even better. I like the chocolate cake. Okay, can I just have one plain bread, please? Sure, the price is 50 pounds. 50 pounds for one slice of bread? Okay, whatever, it's better than starving, right? Wait, that bread is moldy. Why are you eating it? It is? I just bought it off the canteen. Just buy some sweets. I can't. I've already chosen plain food. What am I going to do now? I'm going to starve to death. Luckily, I still have some plain food with me. <sighs> Thank you so much. <sighs> I'm full. Class, today we're going to be guessing the food. If you get all the answers right, the food is yours. Can I participate? Yes, of course. That's apples. That's a cinnamon bun. That's olives. And that's yogurt. Well done. The food is yours. Thank you so much, sir. Amara, all the food is moldy. Wait, what? Why? Why haven't you eaten yet, Amara? I chose plain food, which turned out to be rare. If you get really hungry, it could get dangerous. Dangerous? Why? Your family will also be affected. Does that mean they're all gonna die? Yep, that's right. Hey, babe. What kind of food are you eating? It looks really good. A chocolate bun, but you can't eat that, right? You have to feed me. I can't hold it. Otherwise, it'll get moldy. Oh, yeah. You're smart. I'll feed you. It's really delicious, but... Why am I still hungry? I think if you eat any sweet food, it won't fill you up. You have to eat plain food. Where else can I look for plain food? Everyone on the road is selling sweet food. Hey, you, just eat this. What is this? I can't eat any sweets, only plain food. Just trust me, eat all four flavors. Okay, but I can't hold them, otherwise they get moldy. These ones won't go moldy, they're special sweets. Don't eat them yet, you have to eat them in front of your family. Mom, open please. Sorry, honey, you can't come in. We're eating. Well, I guess I'm going to eat them all now. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Breathe through a mask or breathe through a bottle? Breathing through a bottle is weird, so I choose mask. Hey, Mom. Wait, you chose to breathe through a mask too? It wasn't me who chose. The choice was given to a random person, and now everyone has to breathe through a mask. 
So, you're saying everyone has to wear a mask now? Yes, because the air is toxic. Who chooses to breathe with a mask on? It's so annoying. If you don't like it, why don't you just take it off? I can't do that. If you take your mask off, you die. Really? So, how long do we have to wear these masks for? Forever, Mara. I'm really annoyed with the one who chose the mask. Right? Like, why didn't they just pick breathing through our nose? That was impossible. The choice was between a mask and a bottle. How do you know? Was it you who chose? What? No, um, I was just guessing. Class, today we're going to be jogging around for half an hour. But how, sir? We're all wearing masks. Is there a problem? Yes, it's hard to breathe. Well, get used to it. I'm so tired. If I knew who chose to breathe through a mask, I would kill them. I hope they won't find out it's me. Don't be like that. Maybe they didn't know it would be like this. Okay, class, now it's time to sleep. Since when are the sleep lessons, sir? Since today, because wearing a mask is tiring. Now please make your way to class. I just want to take this off. Do not remove that mask. The air outside is toxic. Why aren't you wearing a mask? I thought the air was toxic. Because there's a way not to wear a mask. How? You need to take off three masks from three of your friends and then give them to me. You can sleep in this class for one hour. Sir, can I not sleep? Whatever, this is your only chance to rest. Don't worry, sir. My breathing is strong. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, I've taken off Sarah's, Hannah's and Samantha's masks. Oh my gosh, why are the masks off? Amara, you were the only one who didn't sleep. What happened to them? Are they dead? How come the masks are off? Honey, are you okay? I took off three of my friend's masks and now they're all dead. What? Why would you do that? You do know that it's a crime, right? Some old lady told me to. Are you insane? You can't just trust strangers, Amara. Are you happy? Three of my friends died because of you. I didn't mean to. Take off your mask now. What? You have to feel their suffering. If you don't take it off, we'll take it off for you. Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe. Otherwise, I did this for nothing. Take off your mask now. Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe. Otherwise, I did this for nothing. Oh my gosh, she actually died. Do you think we'll be caught by the police? Yes, let's just run away. Am I in heaven? Gosh, sis, I was so worried about you. Why did you take off the mask? Wait, so I'm not dead? I'm sorry, I took off the mask because my friends told me to. The three masks I took off my friends, why aren't they here? Thank you for helping me. What? Now you can be mask free for one day. One day? I thought you meant forever. Yeah, but for that, you need to give me the three masks you took off your friends. You never gave them to I me. I forgot where I put them, but I'll bring them to you soon. Okay, here's my address. Hey, honey, why aren't you wearing a mask? I don't need to wear a mask. Thanks to that old lady. Did I not tell you not to speak to that old lady again? Where is she? She's right there. Wait, where is she? You have to be careful with that old lady. Don't be like me. What do you mean like you? Uh, just keep your distance from her. Are you okay, sis? I'm really worried. As you can see, I'm healthier than before. They all feel guilty for telling you to take your mask off, but they don't know you're still alive. Don't worry, I have plans for them. Wait, wasn't she dead? Maybe she's a ghost. I was saved by my sister, and thanks for trying to kill me, by the way. You guys are horrible. You're even more horrible. You killed three of our friends. Okay, class, today we'll be running for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? That's too much, sir. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You know what? At least I'll be fine. I can just run without a mask. You know what? It's fine. I'll participate. Me too, sir. Me as well. You guys ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, there's no one around. It's time for me to take my mask off. <sighs> I'm tired too. Oh, hi, Amara. Oh my gosh, do you think she just saw that? It's fine. Just take it off. Did you follow what the evil old lady said? Why are you calling her evil and how do you know her? Wait, are you serious? Everyone knows her. She's known for... She's known for collecting people's masks. Why is she collecting people's masks? The more masks she collects, the longer she can go without one. But why are you asking? No reason. Uh, I have to continue running. Bye. How come you can run so fast? <sighs> Let's just say I've had plenty of practice, so I'm used to it. You guys have 15 minutes left. I'm so tired. I just want to take off the mask. No, don't. Come on. We can do this. <sighs> Finally, I can now take off the mask. Attention. All students who participated in the run has now fainted. Oh, no. I can't get caught. Why are you the only one who didn't faint? 
Because um, I'm used to running with a mask. Sure, that's the main reason? You didn't cheat, did you? No, sir, I'm not cheating. You know yourself, I work really hard to be the best student in class. Whoa, then you should be given additional points. Thank you. Three of your friends died again because they wasn't wearing masks. Huh? They died? This time, it wasn't me who did it. It wasn't me, sir. We all fainted earlier. How could you be the only one who did it? It can't be me. I've been speaking to sir this whole time. That doesn't mean anything. You're still a suspect, Amara. What? You should go home now before it's too late. What do you mean, Mom? I'm still at school. There's many bad people around you. I know that, which is why I'm worried about you. Don't worry, Mom. I can take care of myself. I need to go to that old lady's house to see what's going on. Where are you going? Um, somewhere you don't need to know. Your mom left a message. She said you need to go home right away. My mom must know my plan. Yes, I'll go home later. Do you want me to tell her? I'm going to pass by your house on the way home. No, no need. I can do it myself. Amara, just now, three of your friends died because their masks were removed. Do you think it's the old lady? I'm not sure. In order to save our friends, we need to go to her house, but I don't know her address. Don't worry, I already have the address. Why don't you take off your mask? Your mask free for the day, remember? Oh yeah, right. Who's calling? Pick up. No, I don't want to. It's your mom, isn't it? Yeah. Calm down, as long as you're with me, you're safe. True. We'll be arriving at the old lady's house soon. How is it so dark outside already and why do I feel so dizzy and breathless? You must have forgotten that you only free of my-